and death, the destroyer of worlds. In the whirlwind of 2023, an unexpected symphony of marketing genius also emerged. The Barbenheimer Extravaganza. Who would have thought that dolls and weapons of mass destruction could tango so gracefully? A dazzling biological thriller, the cinematic marvel walked in the footsteps of the enigmatic J. Robert Oppenheimer. He knew the world would not be the same. Adapted from the pages of 2005 biography American Prometheus. From his brainy beginnings to steering the Manhattan Project during World War II, then the heart stopping plunge of the 1954 security hearing. As expected from Christopher Nolan's track record, the film boasts impeccable craftsmanship and stands out as one of the finest recent cinematic offerings. However, in typical stylized biopic fashion, the film occasionally stumbles, struggling to bridge the chasm between the myth and the man as the characters, though brilliantly portrayed, often exist in an aloof, grandiose realm. A glimpse of his everyday existence would have struck a more relatable chord. After all, even Oppen Oppenheimer probably didn't wake up every day giving Oppenheimer vibes. We missed the moments of him just being, well, human. Now don't get me wrong, the movie is a visual masterpiece with more grandeur than a peacock's parade. Maybe a snip snip here and there would have kept us glued to the screen after catching our breath from that explosive climax. Nevertheless, Oppenheimer masterfully melds technical finesse and a reflection on the heights and limits of human ambition. So as you ponder the union of dolls and destruction, remember that even in the midst of epic bombshells, it's the genuine human moments that truly make an impact. So did it have a great cast? Super! Did it have a compelling plot? Yeah! Especially if you're a history buff. Did I enjoy it? For the most part, yeah. Was it actually good? <laughs> you didn't want Christopher Will I watch it again? Maybe.